Hello guys and welcome to another video. My name is Alex from TechFusion and today I have another short tutorial showing you exactly how you can check the integrity of your plots that you've made using the Mad Max plotter and as well how to integrate those plots and use them with the official Chia app under Windows 10. Alright guys, so firstly I will show you the exact commands that you have to input into your Windows PowerShell in order to check the integrity of your uh, plots and to see uh, how good they are. I'm talking about of course the plots that you have made using the Mad Max script. And secondly I will show you how you can take those plots and integrate them into the official Chia app. So for this uh, what you will need is uh, this first command here which is basically just redirecting the script towards the uh, path of the official Chia app. So uh, depending on where your Chia app resides uh, in your PC files you'll just have to redirect the PowerShell to them. So in order to do this if you are unsure exactly where your Chia resides uh, you just uh, could go over here to your icon and just right click on it open file location and then you're into the gist of it so once you land into the main uh, let's say file of the Chia app you continue going inwards with the app 1.17 here continue with resources this uh, ASR Unpack daemon and this is about where you stop because this is where you have the chia.exe uh, file that you need to access so what you can do is just go ahead and uh, copy this uh, file location and the first command that you have to put in here is cd then space and you can just paste the whole directory that you copied before and hit enter so right now you've directed windows powershell from just your generic uh, user file locations to your exact chia app location this is what we're interested in uh, as a second command this is the simple command that you have to execute I will leave it uh, written down in the video description so you can just copy paste it from there and use it in your PowerShell for uh, ready to use and we'll just paste it in here and hit enter and this will go over scanning your plots and try to detect all your plots it will show you your private things like your farmer your public key your uh, uh, local private key uh, these are all things that um, depend on your machine and how many plots you have for instance for this test here as this is just a demo i only have the one plot that is connected on an external drive that i have over here so this is the only plot that i have on this machine so you will see that it found one plot size of 32 and the total size of it and now it's just testing this plot and uh, it just passed 22 proofs of stake compared to the 30 and gave, it given us a ratio of uh, 0.7333 so you might ask yourself what does this mean for my plots is it this good is this bad what is this exactly well in order to determine how bad or how good your plots are uh, I will leave a link in the video description of course um, I'll link you guys to this github article over here it's all about the checking of your plots so you can check what that ratio exactly means as you can see here if the ratio is above one your plots were uh, relatively lucky for this run of challenges and on the other side if the ratio is less than one your plots was relatively unlucky though this is an asterisk here this shouldn't really concern you unless your ratio is below 0.7 so i'm just about there with 0.7333 so what does this mean if so do a more thorough chia block checks by increasing your number of uh, checks uh, if you'd really want to you can do this of course um, you can add this command into your uh, chia plot check uh, command so you know it will look something like this uh, you could go ahead and copy this one or actually modify this one where you would put at the end of it an n and then well the default check it's 30 i believe yeah consider using n30 to get basically a better idea but um, the default is around 30 and then once you're not happy with the proofs you got out of 30 you can increase this number let's say to 50 and then you can copy this command now and uh, execute this command and it will do a more thorough challenging uh, test to all of the plots so it will do a 50 challenge on each of the plots now uh, depending on your machine this might take a little while uh, the first time I ran this it took me about 20 seconds to get a result for my first first and single plot on this machine 
And now it's running a, a different set of challenges of these 50 challenges on the same plot. And I will see if I can increase my number or actually it's going to decrease my number of, uh, let's say, luckiness of this single plot that I have. So it found 45 proofs out of the 50, increasing my uh, overall score to 0.9 compared to the 0.7333 as before. So you can see that, uh, you know, just following this article here, you can increase your number of uh, challenges that is given to each of the plots, and you can actually increase your uh, ratio as, uh, as I've shown you before. So next guys, I want to show you exactly what happens if your official Chia app doesn't know the location of the plots. So when you will run the command uh, to check your plots, like uh, this one here, you would probably get this error message. It's not actually an error message itself, but you would say you would find it as found zero valid plots, total size of zero terabytes. So this means that the directory, the search directory is either missing or it's invalid. So in my example, I have the plot sitting in my drive, which is letter E over here. And as you can see, it's searching nowhere. So it doesn't know the location of this drive. So that's why it, find, it finds zero valid plots when it's trying to check for them. One way to add them is using this command over here. So for instance, I will just change this to C as uh, some of you might have an issue where it will try to look for them in the totally wrong place. So I'll just paste this command over here. Now you see it says added plot directory C. So when we will do again a check for the plots, I'll just copy this one and back into the PowerShell and run it. You will see that is checking subdirectories, every subdirectory that I have in the drive C and again, it comes up as total zero plots because I don't have my plots on a drive C. I have my plots running on a drive which is attached to my computer, drive E. So if you run into this problem, you can just change it very simply using these commands over here. So firstly, what you would want to do is remove the drive letter that is invalid for your uh, location. So you can copy the second command here, the plots remove command, and you can just Swap, in the, swap out the letter for from E to C in my case and just hit enter and you would see it says remove plot directory C. So then once again if we do a check like the one here it will come up again as search directory being blank because there are, there are no search directory configured at the moment. So we can go ahead and correct this by adding the correct drive letter which in my case is drive letter E. So I'll just type it in here. I'll hit enter and you would see now it says add plot directory drive letter E. And once we do the check now, it should be able to find the correct plot in the correct place. So let's hit enter again. And as you can see, found one plot size of 32, which is pretty much correct. It's the only plot that I have. So if you run into this problem, don't get discouraged, it's very simple. There are just two commands that you have to execute. One is to add the correct drive and one is to remove the invalid drive or you can just leave it in there, but it just for you know ease of sakes and ease of mind, you can just remove the ones that are invalid and you can just leave the ones that are valid. You can do this for how many drives you have. So for instance, if you have more than one drive that is storing your plots, you can just repeat this command uh, step by step a single time uh, at a time and just add the more drives you have to find all the plots that you have. All right, so next guys, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, use the plots that you've created using Mad Max and how you can assign them to your official Chia app. So what you need to do is go ahead and open your Chia app. You have to go into your plots. Um, mine is already set up in here. I can't quite delete it at the moment because it's syncing. But what you can do, you don't have, to, you don't click on this add a plot here, but you go on this uh, side button over here, left click it and say either reflect, refresh plots and see if they show up in here or if they don't, you can just go ahead and add a plot directory. Go here and add a plot directory and you just choose the drive that has the plots. So for in, in my case it's E, it already knows about this. But you can just add this, it will come up in here and you will say close and then your plots will be able to appear here 
and well you'll be greeted of course I think with this syncing uh, button over here so this is basically the gist of it how you can uh, manage your plots how you can check your plots and how you can change the directory of your plots using the Windows PowerShell It's nothing very complicated you'll just use these very simple commands over here that you'll find in the video description and with the help of these commands you'll uh, be set up and on your way in about five to ten minutes and you'll be farming away uh, the plot that you have done with your uh, Mad Max plotter. As always, if you like the channel and the videos that we post for you out here, please consider subscribing and giving us a like. As well, don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down in the box below so that all of us can enjoy and see uh, exactly how to do things.